and today I'm gonna show you how to be a shinobi like me, showing you how to daily life. So that's almost my. Let's go. First, I start off my day with some ramen for breakfast. Because we don't have any rock, I'm gonna use my favorite treats. Not sponsored. Milk expires. February 14th, Valentine's Day. Perfect time for me and Sakura to get together. Guys, time to chow down. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Shinobi, how about I show you guys how to be a real Shinobi? Showing you guys the daily life of Nazo's man. is practice your jutsu. Once you practice your jutsu, you can do anything. You can make a shadow clone, you can turn into a sexy girl, you can make your shadow clone turn into a sexy girl, and you can have sex with yourself. You can kill people with um, kamehamehas. You can do anything. But the number one rule about being a shinobi is how to run. Two arms like this, like this, and you just go. Second thing you gotta know how to be a shinobi is you gotta make sure that the female character you're with is super hot and over sexualized. Alright! Now, sadly, I want to get with Sakura, but as every Naruto fan knows, that don't happen. Why? Because I'm Naso. I'm Naso Uzma. And that never happened. I never get fly I never... <laughs> the thing you gotta know about being a Shinobi is you gotta make sure everyone likes you. Because if not, your, your ninja is getting up, fucked up the bum bum like that. And why would you want that done yourself? You don't want it, because I'm not going. No one likes me. No one likes me like that. It's so good. One thing you gotta know about me, you know, is how. To know what clans are evil to you. And by clans, I mean the five nations. The five nations are the, the cannabis and the cocaine and the blade and the, the, uh, the vape and whatever other nations are. I don't know. I'm not told about it. I don't know. And I'm black. You gotta know which nations can be your friend and which members cannot be your friend. I'm not gonna fucking go!
The sixth thing you gotta know about being a shinobi, who the, who the Akatsukis are. They're the black guys that'll steal your bitch, they'll steal all your weed. You know guys, that's who they are. And what you gotta do, you gotta beat them up. You gotta beat them up with your shinobi powers, right guys? Like that guys, shinobi powers just that easy. Those are the six basic steps of being a shinobi. <laughs> Alright guys, so now, now you know all the basics of how to be a shinobi like Nato Uzma. Now you gotta go on your first ninja mission. Now there's a few ranks to your missions. You got, you got some D ranks, C ranks, B ranks, A ranks. Now A ranks are for the professionals and the professionals only. A ranks are super dangerous missions like against the Ak Akatsuki. But like D missions are like getting a goddamn cat out of a tree. All right, everybody. Right now, we're gonna do a C mission. Now, who knows if they might lie about having it actually be an A mission? So that's what happens in the first few episodes, if you didn't know, guys. So let's go on a C mission, everybody. Now, when you're on a Shinobi mission, you need to know where your team's going to be. Right here, this is the number one meetup spot for my team always needs. My team consists of Sasuke, the super emo high school kid that you really wish just didn't exist. <laughs> number two is Sakura. She might got small taste, but I love that bitch so much. <laughs> did you know that Shippuden? Did, did you know in Shippuden, like they actually like, even though they talk about how small her boobs are, like they still like, there's a character that just grabs her boobs in a regular episode. It just, just regularly happens, it's stupid. And three, my teacher, Kakashi Sensei. Now the thing is, Sakura and Sasuke, they usually <coughs> always show up. They've always been bullying me since like, the first episode. Now, even Sakura like cries and shit about me, but Kakashi, he never shows up. He never does. And it makes me really mad. It makes me really, really, really mad. It makes me mad to the point where I want to die! Now, why would you die as a shinobi? I don't know. Seems like no Naruto characters ever die. Everyone gets resurrected in the war arc, so what's the point of dying? There's none. Anyways, now I'm gonna show you how to do some jutsu. Oh, <laughs> 